and E, LC net one. P and E is on one. At step 980, proceed with final pneumatic preps. Roger. Fuel one, LC. Good. Perform CBC, LH2, fill and drain valve cycle test. Roger. T minus eight minutes. Locks one, LC. Go. Perform CBC locks fill and drain valve cycle test. Roger. GE verify tissue status ready. Is your status ready? SYS, LC? No. Established best source selector locked on RF and range sources. Roger. Initiate orbital parameter calculations on primary CCLS. Roger. CME, LC1. Go. Establish video recording. Roger. is using a Delta IV heavy rocket to launch the NROL-71 mission. This is the 38th Delta IV launch since the inaugural flight in 2002 in the 11th flight of the heavy configuration. Produced in Decatur, Alabama, the Delta IV heavy, the nation's proven heavy lift launcher, is comprised of three common booster cores, each powered by Aerojet Rocketdyne RS-68A engines, and a Delta Cryogenic second stage powered by an Aerojet Rocketdyne RL-10B2 engine. The NROL-71 payload is protected during ascent by a 5-meter diameter payload fairing. Let's have a look at a few of the events that took place in preparation for launch. On October 26th, the spacecraft, encapsulated inside the payload fairing, was transported to the Mobile Service Tower, or MST, at Space Launch Complex 6 and made it to the Delta IV Heavy rocket. The Mobile Assembly Shelter, or MAS, was moved to its launch position. The MAS protects the Delta IV rocket from the wind and fog so common to its location here on California's Pacific coast. Final launch preparations at Space Launch Complex 6 begin with rollback of the Mobile Service Tower, or MST. Using 40 hydraulic cylinders at pressures nearing 3,500 psi, the MST was raised 8 inches and rolled back, revealing the Delta IV heavy. At 100 feet by 100 feet by 300 feet, the MST is as tall as a football field is long, as wide as the length of a basketball court, and weighs in at about 10 million pounds. Using a carriage transporter system traveling at about a quarter mile per hour, it takes about 25 minutes to roll the MST to its launch position 300 feet east of the rocket. The Delta IV Heavy stands 232 feet tall, or about 23 stories, and weighs about 1.6 million pounds fully fueled. The three Delta IV RS-68A main engines produce more than 2 million pounds of thrust. Approximately six minutes later, at stage separation, it weighs just 7% of what it did at liftoff. The NRO is a joint organization engaged in the research and development, acquisition, launch, and operation of innovative overhead reconnaissance systems necessary to meet the needs of the intelligence community and the Department of Defense. The NRO is recognized for its innovative intelligence collection systems that are used to develop highly accurate military targeting data, support international peacekeeping humanitarian relief operations, and to assess 
natural disasters. and the nation, providing a fitting mascot to represent NRO's support to our nation's warfighter. The initials JLC on the foreground dog tag are in honor of Colonel John a Union commander who was awarded the Medal of Honor for his heroism at the Battle of Gettysburg on July 2, 1863, when he held the Union Army's southern flank at Little Round Top against a repeated assault from Confederate forces. Colonel Chamberlain's heroism, leadership, and commitment to service before self exemplifies the ethos of the American warfighter who the NRO is committed to serving each and every day. The art also includes the NRO mission number 71, along with the Delta IV Heavy and Vandenberg Air Force Base to indicate both the launch vehicle and location. The motto, Serving Those Who Serve, rounds out the logo and represents the NRO's commitment to delivering the mission on time to the warfighter and intelligence community. LC, this is ACN Net One, ready to provide an outbrief of the port CBC engine section. LD on one? LD. MD. MD. Proceed, AC. Yes, uh, we had a report on the port CBC engine section that uh, we saw a high hydrogen. Uh, team did considerable amount of troubleshooting to determine if this was a real indication or not, and the conclusion of the team. ...on those sample ports that... Uh, ...leak in that section. We are currently above... A hydrogen detection in that for that sample location, and so uh, team concurred that uh, anomaly team concurred that we are in a uh, no fly condition at this time. Uh, additional troubleshooting was examined and uh, for the center body, and team determined that uh, there's no issue in the other uh, either in the uh, the center CBC or starboard CBC engine sections. So for that uh, reason, no additional troubleshooting was requested or recommended. Uh, so with that, uh, LC copies and concurs. LD? LD concurs. MD? MD concurs. 